Hello and welcome to this how-to on setting up virtual desktops in Windows. For those of you who don't know, virtual desktops allow you to expand your monitor virtually. The program I'm going to show you allows up to four desktops. The program that I will be demoing is called the Windows Pager. This is a wonderful program if you are looking for something easy on resources. This program works very well for netbooks because of its low resource footprint. Sadly, the software did not get that great of reviews on some websites. Best I can tell, this was because of the lack of interface. However, if you read the documentation and watch this video, you may find this program very helpful. I personally love how simple this program is. First thing we need to do is get the program. Open up your web browser and go to this site, windowspager.sourceforge.net. And once you're on the site, we are going to scroll all the way down. And it's kind of hard to see, but down here on the bottom, uh, you're going to see something uh, free download. So we're going to click that. And then we're going to click the download now button. Click that. And then what we need to do is just save this and just remember where you saved it. Click OK and let it download. After this is done downloading, we need to unzip the files. So go to the directory where you saved it. And then we're going to right click and we're going to say uh, extract files or extract all. And show uh, extract the files when complete. Uh, that's fine. I'm just going to say extract. OK, so now we have the extracted files. Uh, next, we're going to take this and put this into the directory that you can remember. There is no installation of this program. So every time you want to run it, we are simply going to click on the executable. So we're going to set this up someplace that we can remember. So on the left hand side over here, uh, this is where my extracted files are located. So this is where my extracted files are. On the right side, this is where I'm going to drag and uh, dump uh, this folder to. So that way I can remember uh, where it is permanently. So uh, I'm just going to go to C drive. Again, you can place this anywhere. Just remember where you place it. I'm going to go to users. Um, I guess I'll put this in my folder, uh, Adam. Uh, so I'm just going to drag and drop like so. Next, we're just going to navigate, um, or if you stay where you are, that's fine, but uh, we're just going to go to where we're permanently going to keep this folder. Uh, so I'm just navigating there now. Um, and then here we can see we have uh, either 32-bit, which is in this folder, or we have 64-bit. So you can choose according to whatever uh, operating system you're using. Um, and they're identical. These folders are identical. This one just allows you to run 32, and this one just allows you to run 64. Since I am running a 64-bit uh, operating system, I am going to click on uh, the 64-bit uh, executable. Uh, yours may not say uh, .exe. Uh, that just depends if you have uh, hidden uh, uh, known file extensions uh, hidden or not. Uh, in my case, uh, I prefer not to have that hidden for me. Um, so you just need to find the appropriate file if it is hidden. So uh, simply double-click that to launch the program. You should see now uh, four boxes next to your system tray. Uh, this is the virtual desktops. Um, so let's see how to use them. Go back to the folder that has the Windows Pager uh, files in it. And next we're going to click the documentation. <clears throat> um, and then you're just going to click the documentation.html, or it's just a uh, web browser file. And here, uh, the, uh, all the information uh, you could want on how to use this and stuff is located here. Uh, it tells you how to switch to another desktop, uh, how to move windows, uh, set windows visible, um, and other programs uh, that may not work um, properly. So uh, this is a great um, resource page. At this point, I'm going to just go over the basics. Uh, control plus the Windows key plus an arrow to the right will move uh, everything over to the right. Uh, and you can see down at the bottom near the system tray how everything highlights. Um, so this is just using uh, Control plus Windows plus your arrow keys. Uh, next, you can also click the desktop um, uh, icons uh, with your mouse. So right now, I am just uh, clicking the different uh, uh, virtual desktops. If you want something to always remain uh, visible, uh, simply right click uh, on the application border and uh, we're just going to say uh, always visible. Then when I switch over, uh, that window will always be visible on the other virtual desktops. 
If you want to move a uh, particular uh, application over to another virtual desktop, uh, there's two ways to do it. The easiest is right click on the application border and say move to desktop uh, for this example 4. So I'm going to move this to desktop 4. I jump over to desktop 4 and that's where it is now located. And finally, uh, if you want, uh, this may be kind of hard to see, but um, what you can do is you can actually grab a application and uh, just um, drag it over uh, into another virtual desktop. So the way to do that is you're going to left click on the icon that you want. So this is uh, Firefox, you can see the icon. And then you're just going to drag it over uh, to another desktop like so. And then when you uh, jump over to the desktop, um, it'll be there. And finally, if you want this program to always start when you log into Windows, uh, just um, we're gonna we can set that up with ease. So just jump uh, to where uh, you had the um, all the files located, and uh, you know select your appropriate uh, version, either 32-bit or 64-bit. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to right-click and we're going to say create shortcut. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take the shortcut and we are just going to dump this into the uh, startup folder like so and just leave it uh, in the startup folder um, and then uh, whenever Windows uh, restarts um, it'll automatically launch uh, the program. Um, if you do not want this uh, in the future you decide you don't want this to automatically start uh, you just right click on it and then say delete and that will remove it from the startup process. Also note, uh, Windows, whenever this application is first launched, um, it may ask you, do you uh, wish to be asked uh, for this executable to be ran? Um, if you get sick of that message, um, when that comes up, just unclick the box that says um, trust this uh, application, um, and then you won't see that warning uh, if you do uh, want to trust this application and allow that to um, uh, run the executable. I hope you've enjoyed this how-to on virtual desktops. If you're looking for a program that does a bit more, check out Dexpot. It has a much better interface and a bit more options and is a lot more powerful. Personally though, I love the simplicity of this program. Thanks for watching.